Buongiorno belli amici! Welcome to Calabria Dreaming! My name is Lily and if you've never seen my channel before, I make videos about what life is really like here in beautiful Bella Calabria. Today's video is a video that I have been wanting to make for a very long time, but I didn't want to make it full of rage, so I had to wait until I could calm down so that I could objectively give you guys the real deal and real facts, okay? So today's video is about the customer service here in Calabria, okay? So before we begin, if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button and leave me a comment down below. It helps my channel grow and I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. Today I hit 7,000 subscribers, which is like so incredible to think that there are 7,000 people out there in the world watching videos about what life is like here in Calabria. So thank you so much for the support guys. And now let's get into it. So I've been wanting to make this video for a long time and I'm not trying to bash Calabria at all or to shop talk shit about it. Obviously I live here. Obviously I love it. Obviously I've chosen to live here by choice. So I'm not coming out. I'm trying to not come at this video like by talking too much shit. However, my channel is for people who have never been to Calabria, who are discovering Calabria for the very first time. And so this video is more of like a public service announcement. I need to prepare you guys for what the fuck goes on here because it is seriously next level. Like I'm gonna get into it, I'm gonna explain a few of the uh, examples that I have that I've lived through experiences that I've, uh, I've had here in Calabria. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips at the end like of what you should and shouldn't do, okay? All right, so most of you guys are from the United States or Canada or Australia. That's my main demographic, all right? So we are used to amazing service. And every time you go to a restaurant, you have great service. If you go into a store, people help you spend your money. If you call customer service, generally people, generally speaking, people are friendly. You know, they're professional. They behave in a certain way that, uh, you know, the, the West is familiar with. Here in Calabria, it's like a bubble. Okay, it's like, the, and the second you leave Calabria, there's great customer service outside of here. Like you go to Puglia, it's great. You go to Sicily, it's great. You go to Rome, it's amazing. It's just, Calabria has this bizarre bubble of absolutely the worst fucking customer service you've ever experienced in your life. And I wanna say this, because there are some great professionals here. There are some great waitresses and waiters, and there are some great service people. They're amazing, but they are few and far between. And in fact, anytime you meet one of them and you find like a good person that helps you, you never forget them and you thank them profusely. And usually I tip them like extra, even though you don't have to tip here in Italy. If I find somebody who's like really giving great service and really taking care of me, because I love being spoiled, Obviously, like, I'm going to let them know that they're doing a great job. So there are a few, very few, and they are amazing when you find them. It's like finding, a, a, you know, water in the desert. You're like, oh my God, thank you so much for being, like, good, okay? However, that's not the case for 90% of the rest of Calabria, okay? So the thing is, and I've been thinking about why this is here, and this is the thing. Calabria is very poor compared to the rest of Italy, right? There's all these riches up in Rome and Venice and Florence. It's like super wealthy. Calabria is poor. Calabria is a ghetto of Italy, okay? I hate to say it, but that's what the fuck it is. So people here don't really care about making money the way that the rest of the world does. Um, they don't understand the lifetime value of clients, okay? And I am from the States. I grew up in an environment, a, co a corporate environment in sales, and I know how to take care of people. I know how to get them to spend more money. That's ultimately what the fuck this is all about, right? When you go to a restaurant, you wanna feel so taken care of that you don't mind getting an extra dessert or an extra bottle of wine or whatever, right? You go into a store, you're only there for one thing and somebody sells you on a bunch of other things. Like the whole point of business is to make money. People here don't care about that. They don't tip here. So that is a huge problem in the service industry because people just don't give a shit about you. And also they just, they are so used to the cyclical, like two months a year is tourist time. And that's when they like get their most money. And then the rest of the year, they just don't care. And it's created a culture where people get away with things here that are like mind blowing. Like I can't tell you enough 
how bad it is here, okay? And I, like, again, I'm not trying to bash Calabria. If anything, I hope the Calabrians listen to this and hear this and they wanna change it. And I know that most Calabrians agree with me on this. It is so bad here. So I wanna go over restaurants, all right? Restaurants here do not have wait staff that is at all qualified. They're usually just like kids or something. And like, again, there are some a few restaurants. I'm gonna tell you what they are at the end, but uh, for the most part, they don't hire qualified staff. They're usually just seasonal staff that last for those two months, right? And then they go away. So they're very transitory. They're just like students running through. They're not people that have been with the establishment for a long time. So they don't give a fuck and they haven't been trained on greeting you. You can walk into a restaurant and they won't greet you. They won't say, hey, hi, welcome to our restaurant. Can I get you a table? It, it looks like you're bothering them. And maybe if you can catch them, they'll sit you down by your table. All right. Second thing here is because they only have those two months and because if they know that foreigners are so like they have no, they can't speak the language, they don't understand how things work. And also because they know it's pretty reasonably priced here. It's pretty cheap here in Calabria. What they do in restaurants is they tack on stuff that you didn't order and charge you more. And they do this at the risk of losing the client forever, which is fine because they're used to just those two months a year. So this has happened to me several times. And in fact, I've learned my lesson and I'm going to give you a tip on how to avoid this. <clears throat> I'll give you an example. I was out uh, at Alito here in Montepone. I'm not going to mention the name, even though I could. I went there with a big group of friends. It was last summer and we were all having drinks. Okay. We, uh, we, you know, the drinks are like five, six euros each. It's pretty average here. And we each like had one or two. All right. We go for the bill. The bill is like 250 euros. I can't remember, but it was an astronomical amount. And they didn't realize that even though we speak English, my best friend at the time was there, Brie, and a bunch of other like Americans there. And we all live here for decades. You know, uh, some of my friends have lived here for more than 10 years and they speak fluent Italian. But when we're together, we speak English. So they thought that we were a group of foreigners. All right. They, uh, we'd never been there before. We get the bell and immediately me and my friend Brie go right in. Can we see the manager? They didn't expect us to start speaking Italian. And it went from 250 euros to like 50 in two seconds. They tried to fucking scam us out of 200 euros. And it was shocking because it didn't take us. At first I was like, did we drink? Like maybe like I'm not, un, I'm not unfamiliar with high bar tabs. Like, especially in LA, you know, you can easily spend a thousand. So for a second I thought, yeah, maybe we, maybe we did. And it was like, no, 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 this, this is incorrect. This is all wrong. Like, um, let me speak to the manager. And we, I speak pretty fluent Italian and my friend does too. So they were shocked and it went from, oh no, you don't have to speak to the manager. You're right, we, we, we miscalculated 200 euros worth of booze for you, all right? I got so pissed off, we, we, my girlfriend is from LA as well, and we both went like kind of ghetto on their asses, and I go from zero to 100 real quick. Like I'm really nice and friendly until you try to fuck me. And so we got a little ghetto, and the manager saw it, and we told him this is unacceptable, like you should never be doing this to anybody. This is what ruins, Tourism in Calabria is people taking advantage of tourists this way. It's a horrible ailment that we have in Calabria. So I got really pissed off. The next day, just coincidentally, I was sitting at a cafe having a coffee and the manager of that place saw me and he walked up and he said he was really sorry. He said to come back, to give it another try, that he, he doesn't know what happened, but that would never happen again. All right, I vowed I would never go back. But actually the spot is really cute and it's right on the beach and it has like good house music and I was like super feeling it. and. So I, I went back again to try it. So there is a bar part with like a dance floor and like little loungy areas. And right next to it is like a restaurant. It's a little a couple stairs up and then there's a restaurant, right? It's a seafood restaurant. So me and my friends were drinking that night and we wanted to have some frittura. Okay, so fried fish and calamari and stuff. It's called the frittura. It was empty at the restaurant. It was empty at the place. There was maybe like, I swear to God, five people in the whole fucking thing, all right? And we asked them for frittura at the bar, like at the dance area. And there was nobody there. We're sitting on a big lounge. We wanted to have some fucking frittura with our goddamn drinks. And they proceeded to tell us that, no, you can't order from the restaurant to the bar because if they get busy, they can't service you over here in the bar. There was two tables at the fucking restaurant, two people each, four people at the goddamn restaurant. 
So then we get into it like, well, why? It's, it's not even busy. It, you just have to bring it over here. It's literally like three meters away. It's, you go down a few stairs and you put it out on a table. No, they don't give a fuck. They don't care. They don't, they don't think about like ha making the client happy. So then I said, well, can I order it to go? Yes, no problem. You can order it to go. So I'm going to order it to go and you're going to deliver it here. Do you understand? They ended up doing it. It was so ridiculous, you guys. Like they have no concept of how to make the experience pleasant. And we had to argue with this young 20 something year old that like, didn't have a brain and uh, like show her how absolutely ridiculous it is that we can order it to go and she can bring it here, but we can't just order it from her. Like it was so stupid. So the tip that I have for you is check your bill every goddamn time. And if they add even $3 worth of water, cause that's what they do. They add on a second bottle of water or they, they'll, they'll like sneak in a little platter or something. You have to really read it item by item. And if you catch it, you should immediately pay it, have them pay attention to it because this is what people come here and they get scammed and it's not okay. And I am, I really believe that Calabria has what it takes to be a huge tourist destination for Italy. However, this illness of trying to scam little pieces of money off of people is so bad because they are not thinking about the long-term value of a customer. I'm a great customer. If I get good customer service, I will come back to you over and over and over and over and over and over again because I love good service and I don't mind paying extra for it. But if I find you scamming me out of three fucking euros, that's it, I'm never coming back. And that other place, I am never going back. What kind of world do we live in that you cannot fucking bring a frittura over to my goddamn table? There is a really great place here in Montepone that I do want to shout out. It's called 20s and it's fabulous. Excellent service. Totally accommodating and wonderful. And they have great food and great ambiance and they have music and live jazz and blah, 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 blah. So if you're ever in Montepone, go check out 20s, like 20s, like 20s. And it's like kind of a jazzy like bar. Uh, with a restaurant. It's really great. But I'm not going to say the Lido that I don't want to mention because I'm not here to bash, but you know who you are. And that was fucking bullshit. And I will never go back and I will never recommend anybody to go to this place ever, ever, ever. There's another Lido right next to it who quickly will bring you a goddamn fritura, wherever the fuck you want it, in the bathroom, out on the beach, wherever. Like they're trying to make money off of you. And I appreciate that. And I'm happy to spend my money on them. So that's number one, you guys. Restaurants. Beware. All right, so this next one is kind of the trend continuing. It's the same trend of like trying to scam little bits of money off of people. And you can expect that as a tourist here when you go to like souvenir shops, you can expect like little things like that. But here, another thing that they do is even at like local grocery stores, like farmers, huts, they have these like little kiosks. Okay, and they're like little farmer co-ops, all right? Literal little small huts, and you go buy your food there. They will charge you there double what they charge normal people, and it's bullshit again, because it's one thing to add on like a euro for a, a great strawberries or something like that, but to literally charge double, like the locals pay three euros for a kilo of uh, tomatoes, but a, a foreigner will pay 10. So you have to be careful. It's best to go to places that have the prices already on the fruit. So it's not just them deciding uh, what it's going to cost that day. Um, so it, make sure you ask the price first and also pay attention like in the actual store what their what the pricing is for the locals and catch them on it because it's theft and it's not okay. And people feel scammed after a while and they don't come back to these places. You know, they would rather go to Puglia where everything is transparent and prices are right then and there. So like catch them and tell them that it's not okay and don't support their business. I don't, I go to places where the pricing for the fruit is right there and you can measure it and you know exactly how much you're getting. So make sure you check first and try not to go to those places with no prices. Next thing is, clothing stars oh my fucking god i used to work in retail for a long time okay i worked my ass off in retail in college even pre-college i have been i was in retail for a long time the main goal of retail is to make money you got you go into a freaking store here it's like you're you're asking them to give up their firstborn baby if you ask them for help like it's like such a favor for them it's Awful. The, the customer service here for clothing stores and like stores in general, just retail, 
is some of the absolute worst I've ever seen in my life. And when, you, like I said, when you do find a store where they welcome you and give you options to try on, maybe give you a glass of champagne, I don't know. They take your number, they send you invitations uh, for parties and social events and for sales. That does not exist here. Like I was the manager of Kate Spade at the Americana in Glendale. Okay, if you guys have been to LA, you probably know the Americana. I actually used to live in the Americana and I also work there. So I'm like Miss Americana girl. Anyways, I was a Kate Spade manager, all right? We were the best at customer service, remembering their name, uh, you know, allowing them to try on holding things for them, ironing things for them, bringing it up to their apartment, sending little gift notes and little coupons and having parties and having hors d'oeuvres. And if it was a special fucking day, we would have champagne. Yes, this is back in the day. Like I am like ultra great at customer service and retail. Like I lived it for many, many years. What I see here is just like hell on earth. Like I actually used to be a corporate trainer. Oh my God, this goes back to CP Shades. If anybody knows CP Shades from San Francisco, there's like a 90s brand. So I was their corporate trainer for a while and I would travel around and I would train people on how to, how we wanted people to behave when people came into the store. And it was always a, well, a warm welcome. Can I take your bag? How was the weather? No pressure sales either. We weren't talking immediately like, hey, can I get you something? Just really trying to get to know the person and build a rapport with them. So I trained people. If I, if I could give you guys an example of like worst case scenario, it is here in Calabria, you guys. So don't expect a warm welcome. Don't expect them to like offer you suggestions. You have to like literally hunt them down and ask them for this in your size. And then they like scoff and huff and puff it like it's like the worst thing ever. So prepare yourself guys. And also even in like, oh my God, I have, this is another example. You go into a retail store, even, even a supermarket, actually my butcher. Okay. I go to this freaking butcher. He has the best meat. It's all like Calabrian meat. And I go see him. And obviously you say, Hey, how are you? They have no problem here in Calabria telling you how bad their day is. And actually they'll complain about business. Like he would complain about how it was too busy and that he hasn't had a day off and that he, he's so tired of being here. Like, unacceptable you don't say that to a client you say my day has been going great how is yours no they use it as an opportunity to like dump on you like i cannot tell you how how mortified my little retail heart has been here and it's it's really hard and it actually it's it's a good thing because i don't spend as much money anymore i used to be like sephora queen like i used to live on top of sephora at the americana and they used to milk, I used to walk in there and they used to just suck me in and I would spend so much money because they were so good at their jobs. Like they would just, they just lavished and spoiled me and I ate that shit up. Here, I'm just, I walk in, I'm looking for something. I'm so turned off by the absolute lack of professionalism. Sometimes I don't even get a hello when I walk into the store that I end up leaving and I ended up just buying it online. Fuck it, I'm not gonna spend my money for somebody who feels like I'm a burden in their store. Like, no, I, I just, I cannot handle it. So it's very difficult. So make sure you don't take it personal. It's just these people have not been trained. They don't understand how to build relationships with people. And they don't understand, like, the more you give your clients, the more love you give them, the more they're going to spend with you. Like, mind-boggling, crazy th concepts for Calabrian. And I know that Calabrians agree with me. They're not great salespeople here. Like... Few and far between, maybe one in the last two years that I can think of that was amazing, okay? So prepare yourself for that. Oh my God, the last thing I wanna talk to you guys about, and this is what enraged me so much that I had to like wait to make this video because I was livid, livid. All right, oh my God, okay. So I have clients and sometimes clients like to send me Western Unions. Western Union is a money transfer service where you put money in and it is instantly available on the other side of the world. I have used Western Union and money transfers for decades as I traveled around the world. You know, you sometimes are out of cash. Or my wallet got stolen. You ask your friends to, you know, send you a Western Union, you get it directly. That's the whole point of the goddamn service. <laughs> okay. All right. So somebody had sent me a thousand euros, which I think is the maximum that you can send here in Italy because of all the money laundering situations. All right. All right. So I go to Western Union to cash out. The guy says, we don't have a thousand dollars. 
what do you think? We just have money lying around here? <laughs> and I go, yeah, that's kind of the way this works. I get money instantly. Otherwise, I'd have the fucker give me a bank transfer. The whole idea is that it's instant. He got into it. He was like so bothered by me. And I kept asking, okay, well, fine. If I can't get the money out today, when do you think I could get the money? We got into a motherfucking fight. I swear there was almost fist drawn. Like he was extremely rude. And I kept going like, I am just asking like normal questions. Like this is how it works. Western Union works this way. And then I was enraged that this guy was behaving this way. I'm like, I am a mother. How are you speaking to me? Like I was literally just blown away. All right. So that was the first location I went to. Then I went to another location. Um, they don't do Western Union anymore, even though they're still on the fucking website. All right. And then I drive, I drive like 30 minutes out, third place. Same thing. Uh, no, we don't have that kind of money laying around. Like, are you crazy? I'm like, okay, well, when do you think it will be available? Well, you can try back tomorrow. There's no phone numbers that I can call by the way, because they, they, they don't have phones in these goddamn places. So I'm like, can I call you before I come to make sure that you have the money? The, the guy gave me his cell phone number, luckily. All right. So I didn't get the money out the first day. Second day, I call him. Uh, yeah, come by. Come by at four o'clock. I'll have it. I travel again, another 40 minutes out. I walk up to the thing. This woman is there. And she goes, oh, no, he's not here. That guy, the only person who can give you money for Western Union, his, his dad died. I'm like, his dad died? Yeah, his dad died. You can come back again tomorrow. I said, there's no way you can just do it. Why is it like, why can't you just do it? And I'm sad for his dad dying, but like, could you give me a reason why you can't do it? No, super bitch, super like super rude. No apologies, no like, hey, I know you were here yesterday. I know it's really far for you. I know we told you to come back today. Nothing, no compassion, no understanding. Just like, fuck you, his dad died and you have to come back again tomorrow. I come back again tomorrow. The guy shows up in his car looking unscathed. I'm sorry, if your father just died, literally not even 12 hours ago, you walk into work. So I go, I said, I'm so sorry to hear about your father. And he got enraged. Who the fuck do you think you are? You think you're gonna get your money out of here? Me, 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 me. I was like, I, I, I thought I was in like the twilight zone. So then I go back to the second location, not the one where I almost got into a fist fight, the second one. They said, no, we don't have it, come back. I go in there, I'm at the, I'm like at the verge of tears because I have been driving around. This is like my sixth stop and I still can't get this goddamn money out. And I don't have time for this. Like, I don't have time for this at all. I go in and I'm like, do you have the money today? No, I don't have it. I started to cry. I started to cry because I was really stressed. I needed the money because uh, I was doing something. And I, I hate it when I'm late with stuff. You know, like if I promise somebody money and I can't deliver, I was just like super stressed. So I started to cry, okay? Boom. Abracadabra. Okay, I can give you the money. I got it after all. Can you believe it? I had to cry. He had to see me cry. And then magically, the money was available. At the time, I was so pissed. I was so pissed that I had, I had to get to, they, they had to push me to that point and they had it the entire time. I didn't say anything, so I just, I was grateful. I said, thank you, and I took the money. But I'll tell you something, that is the absolute worst. Where you allow your customer who you make money off of, and I bring a lot of money in through Western Union. A lot of people pay me through Western Union, all right? Um, I had to cry to get the money. It's mind boggling. So tip here, do not transfer money into Calabria via Western Union, money, money union, whatever, any RIA. Don't do, do not use RIA here. Like do not. And also before you come to Calabria, make sure you exchange your money into euros in Rome or Milan or wherever you fly through, because there are go no goddamn exchanges here. They're, they're so fucking backwards here. They don't have money exchanges. You can't even go to a bank and do it. 
It's a goddamn nightmare. I had a friend here who had a bunch of money on her, dollars, and she couldn't exchange it. She had to go all the way up to Napoli to fucking change it. So, I hope this video helps you out. I hope you understand that Calabria is a bubble of the worst customer service experience of your life. When you find somebody who is good to you and treats you kindly and helps you spend your goddamn money, thank them and, 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 and tell the manager that this is what good customer service looks like so that we can continue to cultivate this, you know? But do not take it personally and just understand that people here have no clue. Okay, love you Calabria, but I'm actually making this video in hopes that this changes because I think that Calabrian people are amazing. I think what Calabria has to offer is amazing. And one of the big pieces of the puzzle is getting customer service right, okay? Amongst other things. But like if we can start greeting people, helping them with choices, adding on, creating relationships, knowing people and creating lifetime customers, that's what's gonna make a big difference here in Calabria. All right. So if you don't already check me out on Instagram, it's Calabria underscore dreaming. I do have Calabria dreaming on Instagram, but I forgot my password and I can't get into that account. So it's Calabria underscore dreaming. My website, calabriadreaming.com. If you are interested in buying homes or renting homes, or if you are looking for a house hunter, check my website out. And then if you want to email me for any reason, if you want to have a consultation call with me, Check me out at ColabiaDreaming at gmail.com, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, hello, my boob is popping out. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I can't wait to see you here in beautiful Bella Calabria. Ciao.